In addition to the seniors that West Virginia is saying goodbye to after the 2015 season, we're also saying goodbye to a couple of underclassmen who have declared early, including this guy, Daryl Worley. Daryl, you know, we saw the letter to Mountaineer Nation. Obviously, it's a difficult decision to have to make, but what went into it, and where do you stand now that a couple of months after your college career has come to an end, you're that close to starting to get paid for this uh, football game that you love so much? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a surreal feeling. I mean, uh, between on the field and off the field. It's, I mean, it's just very surreal. I mean, uh, through, the, through the entire process, you just try to enjoy it. I mean, it's definitely a different experience. Uh, it was a very tough decision for me. I mean, coming out of, coming out of school early, I mean, I, I, mean I, I loved college, and especially being here in the greatest state that, that anyone could possibly be in. So, I mean, it, it was tough for me, but it was a decision made for me and my family. What did you learn as a college player? You know, a guy who got an opportunity to get significant playing time from your freshman season. What did you learn working with Tony Gibson, working with the Mountaineers that you can translate to the NFL? Um, just, uh, just work as hard as possible. And I mean, our, our slogan was to be a dog. And I, as a dog, it, you're relentless. You're, I mean, you're going to do whatever it takes. You're, you're, you're going to be on the field. You're going to make plays. So I mean, that, that, that's kind of the biggest thing that he, he always taught us is, is we're going to work as hard as possible. We're going to hustle with everything that we do. And I mean, it, it'll help us thrive in the end. So we're at an event right now where these guys are signing autographs, taking photos with some WVU fans. You look around, it's a lot of defenders. You guys have left the cupboard bare for Tony Gibson. <laughs> Shame on you for doing so. But uh, what do you see for the future of this team, having worked so closely with a lot of the underclassmen who are still there? Um, I mean, we, we lost a lot of experience on the defense. But at the end of the day, I mean, we like I said, our, our slogan is dogs. So I mean, from 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 those front those front starter guys that we had up there, that we're now losing. I mean, the, the, the guys that were behind us, they're just as good. So, I mean, they'll, they'll step in and, and they won't miss a beat. They, I mean, they're, it won't be a footstep miss. They'll, they'll be doing the same thing that we were doing last year, if not better. I saw you last month in the combat or two months ago now, as it's April. But uh, the end of this month, you're going to be waiting to hear your name called in the draft. On Monday, you get a chance to show off a little bit more for the scouts, for coaches and GMs at WVU's Pro Day. What are you hoping to accomplish on Monday in front of those eyes? Um, just simply, uh, just a better 40-yard dash. I mean, that's all I'm really focused on at this point. Um, I felt as though my combine experience was, was very great and everything that I wanted to do there, I accomplished. Um, I, didn't, I didn't run as, as good as possible, but I mean, everything can't always work out in your favor. So I'm just looking to improve in, in, in that area of things and just kind of have a perfect day. Do you have a number? Uh, <laughs> no, not, not yet. I mean, we'll, we'll, we got like less than 48 to see, so. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you know, as, as you get a chance to talk to some of these teams, what do you hear from them? Uh, what, do, what do you feel like they've asked uh, throughout the process? You know, it's an interview process. They yeah. ask you for your strengths, your weaknesses, how you're <laughs> going to help their team. What has that process been like, and, and what have you heard from the Next Level Scouts? I mean, everything's very positive. Everything is very, very positive. I mean, uh, it, everything is actually higher than, than what it was projected when I, when I first came out. So, I mean, that's looking very, very good. And, I mean, and uh, throughout the entire process, it's not, I can do nothing but help myself. Well, whether it be the combine or the pro day and then like uh, private interviews and workouts from teams. So it does nothing but, but help, help uh, not only me, but my stock and, and everything's just rising. Daryl Worley here in Taze Valley. I'm going to get that number from him because in less than 48 hours, I want to know if he matched his goal or not. Good luck, though, in pro day. Thank you very much. Daryl Worley here, three years for WVU. Next time you're going to see him, it will not be in the gold and blue. He'll be in an NFL uniform.